cabinet is a must-have piece of furniture in a bedroom to store your daily private stuff. However, it takes up a lot of space, especially for small bedrooms that can't hold large furniture without feeling cramped. Thus, consider the setup and choices to incorporate extra storage while maintaining an aesthetic cabinet in your small bedroom. The right design and layout will make the space adequate. Check these 12 small bedrooms with clever cabinet setups and choices to help you create one. Number 12. Turn kitchen cabinets into space-saving storage for a tiny bedroom. This small bedroom IKEA hack utilizes a kitchen set of wall-mounted cabinets and two stackable box beds beneath that can be closed upright when not in use. You need five IKEA Method cabinets and five Hagaby doors. This project is quite challenging because the room has an awkward angled corner that automatically reduces the wall length needed to attach the box beds. Thus, you must build a new faux wall from the wooden beams from floor to ceiling to even out the wall and as the frame for the beds and the cabinets. Then, cover the exposed frame by nailing thin boards neatly. The last step is painting them soft pink. Number 11. Floor-to-ceiling cabinets idea for extra storage. First, take measurements for each shelf. All the plywood used in these cabinets is layered with laminates rather than paint because it's more durable and harder on the surface. Wood glue is better than contact cement specially made for laminates because of the worst smell. You may need help with this process to ensure no air is trapped underneath the laminates. The next step is making boxes and placing them on each shelf. Then build the drawers and install them in the lower part boxes. Finally, install all the cabinet and drawer handles. Number 10. A Mirrored Storage Cabinet Idea This dazzling silvery wall-mounted storage cabinet is made from lightweight wood. If you show the measurement to the shopkeeper, they'll cut them for you. First, using constructive adhesive, assemble the mirror frame and the shelves. There are six smaller boxes. It's better to use wood screws to help all the boards stick together. Then, add the mirrors to the mirror frame, then cover the backside with silver card stocks. After that, add hinges to connect the mirror frame and the shelves. You can use a magnet to keep the door closed. Finally, mount the cabinet to the wall. Number 9. A simple platform bed made of kitchen cabinets. First, get a standard mattress size, which is 54 by 75 inches. Then choose the three widest cabinets, 24 by 15 by 30 to frame along the side, and four cabinets at the foot side in various heights to create stair steps. Second, assemble all seven cabinets and leave one of the big cabinets open to access the underneath storage. Then lay out all the cabinets and screw them together. Next, make the mattress frame using pine boards. Make sure to make it strong by adding the center rail support. Then, dress up the top of the cabinets using paneling and the stair steps using rubber back rugs. Number 8. A four-sided walk-in bedroom cabinet idea. To make this closet island, you can begin building the cabinet frame by assembling the walls to the back panels until you get two U-shaped formations. Then, install them to the bottom part. Make sure the sides of the U-shaped formation stay flush with the edge of the bottom piece. After that, slip the divider in the middle using a mallet. Once the frame is ready, install the toe kicks and face frame. Do not forget to install the diagonal piece. Then paint the frame and top it with a tabletop. Install the barn door hardware and add some shelves. You're good to go. Number 7. Go Classic with IKEA Packs First, opt for two tallest and biggest IKEA Packs. Then make a DIY by adding baseboards that will join the two existing ones. It will lift the packs. The same goes for the crown molding along the top, so the tops and bottoms are aligned. Next, bolt the two cabinets side by side and stud them in the wall. To fill the gap in the back of the cabinet, you can use pieces of MDF. Finally, you can install the cabinet door and attach the trimming. Number 6. How to build a new bedroom symmetry The floating bookcase in the center that links two IKEA PAX columns on either side gives the bedroom a classic symmetry dimension. Purposely don't install the doors of two alcoves on two sides to create bedside tables. Painting them in the same gray color as the wall makes them feel like a concrete built-in unit. The three shelves are enough to display your books, moving the wardrobe's primary purpose. Number 5. Mix them up. When it comes to limited space, exploit every inch and go high whenever possible. Attach open shelves vertically as much as possible. Even the empty space under the cabinet can donate extra storage by just putting in some baskets. Keep the stuff you use the most in an easy-to-access place. For example, you can put it on open shelves or baskets that easily slide in and out.
Number 4. A Murphy Cabinet Bed Idea for a Super Tiny Bedroom This super tiny room is a perfect space that can serve three functions simultaneously – a guest room, a home office, and a laundry room. A space-saving genius hack for this room is by utilizing a Murphy Cabinet Bed. Just put it away during the average day and out while the guest is staying. Lay the cabinet on one side against the wall while the laundry device and desk are at the end opposing each other. A Murphy cabinet bed is much better than a wall Murphy bed because it's small and doesn't take up much space. It's also flexible, unlike the wall bed that has to be drilled into the wall. It is very easy to fold it in and out. You just have to flip the top panel open, pull the lower drawer and front section, flip up the supporting feet and fold this section down. Finally, you can pull out the mattress. Number 3. A Low-Profile Headboard Cabinet Combo Idea The biggest problem with a small bedroom is the lack of storage for personal stuff. Usually, it's even impossible to put bedside tables in it. You can solve this by converting cabinets into modern headboards. It doubles the storage as the headboard surface can hold ornaments, pictures, or houseplants. Sacrifice a few feet of floor space to make this headboard. Plywood is perfect for the material since it's cheap, yet durable and flexible. Number 2. How to build a new centerpiece from fitted cabinets This fitted cabinet is perfect for framing the bed and gives your plain bed a strong personality. The centerpiece includes a wide cabinet that joins the two sides. You can add some mini lights that also can be night lamps. Leave one drawer uncovered for both sides to be nightstands. The first thing to construct are the side cabinets. Then make and install the wide cabinet with an upswing door. Next, install the cabinet doors, drawers, and hardware. The last step, paint the cabinet for the finishing touch. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number 1. A Black Iron Garden for the Open Cabinet Consider creating this open closet system if you do not have a dedicated closet for your clothes. To create this open closet system, you must assemble iron pipes using flanges and tees. You'll also need tee caps for a more finished look. Set aside. Then, get a 2x6 and cut 3 pieces measuring 19 inches in length. Afterward, get more wooden boards and screw them perpendicularly to the planks. Next, install wheels and assemble the pipe rack. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!